So this video looks at adding pictures and photos to your report. Um, it's a really good feature to know how to use, but sometimes students find that it's difficult to format. So we go up to the top to insert, and you can either choose online pictures, which would be this section if I was attached to the internet, I could search, or just insert and pictures themselves if you have them on your computer. And then you click on the picture you want, click select, and it brings it in to your file. And what you'll find is they jump about and they're often a kind of a funny layout. So what I do is I right click, I click wrap text, and I click behind text. So each picture, that's what I'm doing, wrap text, behind text. So it just means that now they're all sitting on top of each other, but I can pick them up and move them around wherever I want them. And you don't get a situation of them jumping where you don't want them to be. So I also want to make these pictures smaller. So you'll notice what I'm doing is I'm moving them around, but I'm also drawing them in from the corner in. So these circles that are at the corners, those are the ways you can make your picture bigger or smaller. It's much better to use the corners than using the sides, otherwise you end up with very tall pictures or very short and fat pictures, and they look out of focus a little bit. So it's much better to keep the width to height ratio, but just stretch them out a little bit more. You can have your pictures however you want them laid out, and then you can also edit them and make them look a little bit more interesting. So up the top here in Picture Tools, you'll see there's a whole range of different options we can choose. So here in Color, you can make it black and white, you can put a color wash over the top, and here in Artistic Effects, we can even add kind of painterly effects, pastel effects. So again, a little bit more creative if you were making a poster or a leaflet. These squares here are frames that you can put around your picture. So you might want to make the edges a bit more fuzzy, or you might want to put a big hard black frame around it. So again, just depends on the effect you're looking for. If you want to crop something out of your picture, this is the section to come to. So when you choose crop, you just drag in these black uh, lines, and the grey bit is the area that's being cut. So something that you don't want is the dark grey area, and then you drag in taking off what you don't want. So there's a little white outline on these pictures which I don't want. So I'm just highlighting that and now I'm happy. I'm gonna click in the space and that's it. It's cut away what I didn't want. The other option that you've got as well is to be able to bring pictures in front or behind one another. So you can see the van here is over the top and I want it actually um, to be at the back. So if I click send to back, um, then it'll push the picture to the back or I can click send to front. The other thing I can do is rotate my picture and flip it.